Hi guys, it's Carol from Cape Cod Cottage Garden. And this morning, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I manage my seedlings. We all seen videos where people plant all their seedlings and, you know, and that they watch them germinate and it kind of ends there. Well, how do you manage the seedlings? They grow at different rates. How do you watering them and that kind of thing. So today, I'm gonna to just show you how I do it. Everybody has to figure out for themselves how they wanna manage their plants but this is just what works for me. So <clears throat> if I look crazy, I've been up since 3.30 this morning because my body doesn't like to sleep. So I have my cup of joe, decaf of course, because I don't want to add any caffeine to the mix. I'm not a sleeper. So my decaf coffee, have a little sip. Mmm, super delicious. And let's get going. So to start, I want to have give you an example of this tray that I started. If you looked at my older videos, this tray I started with a bunch of old seeds. I weren't sure they were gonna germinate, so I stuck them all in this one microgreen tray. But now that they've all germinated, they all germinated wonderfully. They're very small. I have um, petunias and coleus, so they're kind of hard to see, but they're there. They're just really tiny. I also planted in this section some scabiosa. And as you can see, these ones are still very small. They only have their cotyledons, which are the first leaves that come out. They get their energy from the seed, but they are not true leaves of the plant. So when you have these cotyledons, you can continue just to use water when you're watering. But once your plants get their true leaves like this, let me see if I can show you better. These are the scabiosa. This is the cotyledon. And these are the true leaves starting. Can you see them there? It's not really focusing well. This one's a better example. See it? So now these ones are gonna very soon need fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. So since these are all in the same tray and I bought them water, there's no way I can get fertilizer to these and not get fertilizer to these. You don't wanna fertilize when you just have the cotyledons because you can burn the little tiny baby roots with the fertilizer, even though I use it very, very weakly, weak diluted fertilizer. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna pick out all of these plants and put them in a different pot. And after I do that, I'm gonna go through the rest of my seedlings and pick out any seedlings that have their true leaves. And I'm gonna place those all in a tray together. So I'll know that that tray is the tray that I'm gonna use fertilizer in the water. So I didn't have too many six packs that did have their true leaves, just a, just a few, and I'll show you. Um, the scabiosa, you can see these are the cotyledons, these are the true leaves. Um, I have two six packs of those that are ready to be fired up. And then my Venus cherry stalk. This one actually has two sets of true leaves. So these are the these are the cotyledons, true leaves, and then another set right there coming. Okay. So and also another little indicator you can tell that the plants are ready for some fertilizer. See how these leaves look a little yellow? The seed starting medium that we started these, it doesn't have any nutrients in it. When the plants are just starting out, they don't really need the nutrients. They just need the soil, the moisture and they get all the energy from the seed itself. But once they use up all the energy from the seed, you will see the plant start to suffer like this. So now it's time to be put into a tray that can be watered with fertilizer. And the fertilizer I personally use is this Neptune's Harvest Fish and Seaweed Emulsion. Sorry, my lighting's a little weird because I have all the lights in the back. I use it very, very diluted. So I use my half gallon jug and I put like an eighth of a teaspoon. I don't really measure it. I just kind of just put a little quick drop in, <laughs> very scientific. So the, the key is you wanna water with fertilizer at least weekly, weekly. You've heard that term before maybe, meaning do it weekly at a weak strength and at least once a week. So that's pretty much what I do. Actually, once my leaves get true leaves, I pretty much every time I water them, I use a little liquid fertilizer to give them the best start ever. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pick out these scabiosa and pot them up into pots that will enable me to use the liquid fertilizer. So let me set that up. So I'm just moistening my soil with some water. I'm just using the water that I've been watering my plants with. I reuse it. I have a little bucket that I just dump out 
the extra in. And I'll do the same thing with the fertilizer. I'll fertilize one tray and then once it absorbs as much as it can, whatever's in the bottom, I dump into a bucket, which then I dump into the next tray. I try to conserve when I can. And of course I made my medium a little too wet, like I always do. I either make it too wet or too dry. It's never just right. I think it's time for coffee. Hmm. I'm so behind on my planting, guys. I haven't done any of my week six plants yet. And I'm well into week six, but that's okay. And I'm so behind on all my videos. I've actually been getting outside because, believe it or not, blah, blah, this week we had some sun. We had like four days of gorgeous sun. Another thing I did this week is, I don't know if you guys know this, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> but I love birds. I just love birds. So I went on a local bird walk here. There's so many beautiful places around here on the Cape. So there was a guided tour. I think it was Thursday morning. Oh my gosh. I went. It was so nice, one, to be outside. Two, to take a walk in the woods and not be afraid to be alone because I was with like 10 other people. And to go with someone so knowledgeable, I went with this group that, you know, it was a guided tour. So the, the person who was heading the tour really knew what he was doing. It was fabulous. I made this too wet. It's too wet. But I'm just going to make two. Um, we saw something like 47 different species of birds. And it was a three-hour walk. It was just really nice. I really enjoy it. Yeah, that's one of those things I geek out on. I used to do it a lot more. But, you know, kids, life, work gets in the way. But now that my kids are grown and my work is non-existent, I'm going to share something with you. I don't know if I told anybody yet, but I did quit my job. I quit my day job. <laughs> I have to whisper because I feel guilty about it. Um, it's temporary. I mean, I'm obviously going to go back to work, but I'm just taking a little break. I'm going to look for new work. And in the meantime, I'm giving myself a little reprieve from the grind. So let me just rinse off my hands. Paper towels. If this video is another wacky video... It's because I've been up since 3 a.m. Up since 3 a.m. Okay. Let me turn the camera down so you guys can see what I'm going to do when I pick these out. So when you're going to pick out your seedlings, you really should water them the night before, which I didn't do. So I'm just going to give these a little spritz so it's they're not completely dry. So let me get my little sprayer. A couple of pumps. Give them a little spray. I love this sprayer. This is my first year having it and it's really come in super handy. I mean, I am in the basement and I do have a full bath down here so I do have access to water. But still, it's nice to just have it right here and not have to run to another room every time you need water. Okay. Let's give that a few minutes to soak in and We'll come back. I'm going to drink my coffee in the meanwhile. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of make a hole for these plants to go into. Ooh, my soil's wet, guys. Can you see? You can use a pen. I, I just happen to have this. I bought a little succulent kit, and it came with like, a, like it came with this, and this, and this. I mean, I just think I got it off Amazon. It was very inexpensive. I have it, so I use it. But can, you can just as easily use a pen or anything, a screwdriver make a little hole so when I was going through my seedlings to see what had some true leaves on them many 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 of them have like one true leaf but I really want to wait till I have a set of true leaves so not just the true leaf on one side the true leaf on both sides all right so once I have that done I'm just gonna go ahead and use this little spade and try to pick out my seedling let's see just gently go in and lift up and there you have it. One thing you really don't want to do is you don't want to hold the leaf. I mean, excuse me. You don't want to hold the plant by the stem because the stem is where it soaks up all its nutrients. And if you happen to pinch the stem, you're cutting off the nutrients to that little plant. So you can kind of want to try to show you the roots, but I don't want to disturb it too much. You can kind of see right there the root. So I'm just going to make a little hole. 
We put this in. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, guys? I forgot to mark these. <laughs> so I'll be sure to label these scabiosa. So it's as easy as that. This one has a longer root system. Just kind of, you just kind of like get under it and lift up. And if all the soil comes off, that's totally fine. Wow, this is a long root. Whoa, look at that root, guys. <laughs> look at that root for this little tiny plant. Wow, that's cool. So what you want to be sure to do, I'm going to make the hole a little deeper for this one. So when you're planting it up, you just want to make sure you put the root inside gently. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Use this little thing. Just kind of work the roots down. You don't want to leave the roots exposed on top because then they'll just dry out. So just work the root down. Let me see. It is delicate work. And some people would probably find this really boring. It actually really relaxes me. Like I was upstairs sitting in my bed, fretting because I was awake to f for hours now. And I was just getting more and more stressed out. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna make a cup of coffee, go downstairs and get this chore done. Because today, well, we started yesterday. Oh my gosh, these roots are amazing, guys. Look at that. Well, look at me. I just told you don't hold it by the stem, the root, the stem, and that's exactly what I just did. Well, do as I say, not as I do. So as I was saying yesterday, Mr. Hubby and I started the battle against the bunnies. I, I'm almost thinking I should put these in bigger pots because the roots are so big, but oh well. I get so easily distracted, if you haven't noticed by far, I'll start saying one thing and then my brain is always 10 steps ahead. So I was saying, one more time I'll try. Mr. Hubby and I started our battle against the bunnies yesterday. We're putting up a fence all the way around our property. What we did is we purchased a one by one, so one inch by one inch, I'm gonna have a video on it, of course, galvanized metal fence. So it's kind of like a hardware cloth fence, but it's it's bigger, it's, it's not a quarter inch, it's one by one. It's black, we're trying to make it not so ugly. Um, we just can't financially to put a fence all the way around this property right now, is, it's, especially with me quit my job, is really out of the budget right now. So it's a three foot tall fence, we're going to fence in the whole property with that, but we also bought enough chicken wire to fence it in again. So essentially, we're putting in two fences. It'll make sense when I show you, but we're going to put the fence up, the regular fence up, and then we're going to use the chicken wire as a skirt. So we're going to put the skirt and make it fan out, just like I did in my garden, so nothing can dig under. So it's like essentially fencing in the whole yard twice. So it's a project. Uh, we, we started yesterday. It's hard because it's Oops, get those roots in there. It's hard because it's we're trying to keep it in the brush line so you don't see how ugly it is. So there's lots of like brambles and and thorns and it's just miserable work. We're going over trees and roots and the but I was getting stuck with thorns in my face and I was on the inside of the fence, so I was getting the, the worst of it. And after like an hour and a half, two hours, I said, but it was getting late too. I said, I'm done. I'm done. I have to walk away because you know. Mr. Hubby and I, when we do projects, we usually do really well, but there are the occasional annoyances. <laughs> and this root is so long, I can't get it out. It's like way over here. Can you guys see that? I don't want to break it. Wow. Whoa. This is insane. Can't. Let me see if I can hold it by the leaves. <laughs> can you see that? It's crazy. It's like literally six inches long. So as I was saying, I digress. <laughs> I was starting to get really annoyed and I wasn't my best self. So I decided to give it up for the day. I came in, made a nice dinner. I had my cousins over last night. It was fun. And we're going to start fresh today. We have the whole day. Mr. Hubby's still sleeping because it is like the crack of dawn. And we're going to start on that. So I figured I'd get this done in the meanwhile. So I did one six pack. I won't bore you and let me wash the rest. 
I'm not going to water these in because I made the soil too wet. So I'm just going to put these in a, their own separate 10 by 20 tray. I am going to add a little vermiculite on top though. Just going to sprinkle some on. Just around. Oops, too much. Just a little bit. It just helps keep the moisture in and it kind of helps a little bit with fungus growing on the top. I have it, so I'm gonna use it. You don't need to do this. All right, let me do the rest. Okay, I know I said I was gonna not show you the rest, but <laughs> I'm shocked at the roots on these. Look at that little tiny plant. So see how much is going on under the surface of the plant? It's crazy. So when did I plant these? Today is what? Today is March 16th, and I planted these on February 24th. So do the math. I'll put the math on the screen because I don't know. Look at all that growth. It's insane. So something else I wanted to share with you. This is all scabiosa, okay? This is the scabiosa that I grew in the shallow tray. I planted these all in the same day. These ones have more soil, a deeper tray, a bigger pot, and look how much bigger they are than this one. It just proves how important it is to pot up your plants because you keep them in two small containers, it really limits their growth. So look how big these ones are compared to these ones. So I put all the seedlings that had true leaves in this tray. I ended up with some of the scabiosa. It had such huge roots, I put them in these they just weren't gonna make it in these very much longer. So I put them, I potted them up to these. So now I'm going to use my fertilizer and bottom water all these plants. I know you can't see the top of my head, but <clears throat> I just wanted to give you an example of how much of this I put in. <laughs> what I do is I just, so this is a half gallon, yep, half gallon watering can. And I just go like this, this stuff stinks. Just go like, I'm trying to show you how much I do that much <laughs> so I'd probably say like a quarter of a teaspoon to a half gallon that's probably even too much but it's hard to do pour less than that now I'm just going to go fill it with water and I'm going to fill this tray bottom water these and let them sit for about 15 20 minutes sometimes longer until I see that they have absorbed the water and then I will remove any additional water that's in the bottom because you don't want them sitting in water you saw how long those roots are those roots are hitting the water so it's great I just moved them to the small of the tray to water them. And this is just like something I got, I don't know, lettuce or chicken in or something from the supermarket. I just saved it. Whoops, I'm just spilling it. So then you're just gonna pour the water in the tray. <clears throat> don't pour it in like, dump it in. Do it kind of gently. And I usually fill it about half an inch, an inch. That's plenty. Just like that. I'm just gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes or so and let it soak up all that good nutrition it's getting from the Neptune's harvest. So I literally set my alarm on my phone to remind me when the 20, 25 minutes is up so I don't forget and leave my seedlings in the water too long. I mean, it's so easy to get distracted when you're doing 10 other things. So what I did is after the 20 minutes, I checked and there was still like this much water in the bottom. So I removed all the plants, dumped the re remaining water out and put the plants back in and put them under the lights. Then I went through and I just checked all my plants and I watered where I see needed watered. Sometimes I move my plants around because if you see them starting to bend one way or the other, you might want to just like turn the tray around in a different direction just so your stems stay nice and straight. Now I do have a small fan here that I do run over my seedlings but I only have one little tiny fan I'm on the lookout to get a bigger fan that's kind of going to be oscillating and get all my seedlings at once because like I'll put it on one tray for like you know a couple hours then I'll come back and move it and it's just like too much work so anyways the day is getting away from me because believe it or not I did so a few other things while I was waiting for that I did some lettuce and stuff like that I didn't do it on camera but I have to get out and stop building the fence now we're losing daylight it's now ooh, 9 a.m. So I've been, I've been down here for quite a while. So I'm going to go out there now and start on the fence with Mr. Hubby. I hear him moving around. He's been up for about an hour. So anyways, if you're enjoying the content, I appreciate if you give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you feel so inclined. And until next time, get out there and grow. Bye-bye.